Alright, so I got the 180 servo done yesterday. Today was, uh, let's make the 360 servo. And uh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, step one, you um, take off the three wires to the uh, position sensor, the potentiometer. Step two, if I can get that in focus here. There we are. Step two, you take off the, the red and green wires, which used to go to the outside two outside pins of the position sensor. And you replace those with, uh, in this case, I used a uh, 2200 uh, ohm resistor, a pair of them. And um, then you solder the yellow wire to the center of those, uh, those two resistors. So the re two resistors now emulate the position sensor. And you connected the yellow wire in between it, so the, the board always thinks the servo is centered. So as long as you have the stick centered, it won't move. But then as you put the stick off to one side, it'll start to turn. The farther to one side you make it, the faster it turns. Um, so once you get the electronics done, the next trick is you have to take the, the gear, and the only mod that is undoable, is un-undoable, is uh, if you ever decide to make it a regular servo, you've got to replace this gear. Um, you grind off that little tab there, and um, that will expose the rest of the gear so it'll spin. Fortunately, this gear is actually gears on the full periphery. And then the last thing you have to do is, in the center here, there is a, a flat spot for the uh, position sensor to engage in. And um, you just need to get rid of the flat spot so that it will spin on the shaft of the position sensor. Uh, this will allow you to have the full rotation. Alright, so this is what we end up with. Um, the one in the alligator clip is the 360, and uh, I've got it on the rudder channel. I've got a bunch of expo in it. So as I deflect the rudder channel, we get a little bit of motion. And that's just holding the rudder, and as soon as I put it back in the center, it stops. And um, I hope I'll never need that speed. And uh, one thing I'll have to worry about is making sure the wires don't wrap it around. Um, it'll get really ugly if I don't uh, set my fail-safe positions and that servo decides to start spooling around with my camera on top of it. And then uh, here's the 180. I've got it on the, uh, the, the throttle channel at the moment. but. So, looking forward, looking down, look wherever I want to look. Alright, so this is the whole thing together, so you can also see the uh, stick deflections. Um, pan left, and right. So it's got fairly good precision control, and then uh, of course it'll go fairly quick. I've got one side faster than the other just for demonstration purposes. But yeah, it's a little weird. And then look up and down. And um, if you do act, I do have the uh, the throttle on a switch. It's just off or on. Um, the amount of on is adjustable by the side lever. And then I have uh, just rudder tied in with my uh, uh, aileron system. So it's pretty straightforward. And uh, I did have to... Uh, to set the max speed of travel, I've had to um, set a bunch of expo and uh, the, the travel adjust on the radio. Um, but that's all. It's, it's pretty straightforward once you play with it. And um, it's undoable, too. All I have to do is replace the, uh, the main output gear on the servo and solder back in the wires to the position sensor, and uh, it's all back up and running. No permanent changes. So that's kind of cool. So now I just got to go mount these two together and everything just got a lot smaller and a lot more compact. It is weird not to see that servo come back to center though. Anyway, there we go.